10,000 subscribers! Woo! Thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers on the channel. That means 10,000 of you guys that are begging me to watch more of this show. Which is fine, you know? I'm a people pleaser. I give people what they want. So without further ado, we're gonna watch three more episodes, starting with a suggestion from Ali Salverson to watch Fecal Attraction. So to my now 10,000 subscribers, let's go! Cedric was a rock and roller in dire need. His tour bus had just broke down in Provo, Utah, and he was out of drugs. This isn't happening. Oh, there you go. There's his first problem. He's British. Uh, now, I'm not going to say that he deserves what's coming to him. I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm all out of drugs here. One of his roadies had a suggestion. Yeah, yeah. which... I don't know where you can get high off your own ass. <laughs> I love how he's like a Sopranos mobster trying to keep it on the down low. Like, hey, Tony, I know how you can get high off your own ass. Don't tell nobody. Keep this on the low low. Also, getting high off your own ass is the best way to just set the tone for the rest of the episode. You, you can't top that already. The roadie was referring to something called Jenkum. Jenkum is a recreational hallucinogenic drug made by fermenting raw sewage. This would include defecating into a container and sealing it and then huffing it. I'm sorry, what? Why? <laughs> They're talking about Jenkum like it's some normal thing, some normal practice to do. How are you gonna be that desperate to get high? And it's in the middle of the day. Just go to a store, get some spray paint, get some glue to huff. How are you gonna be this desperate, dude? British people, man. Every British person has done this. It's crazy. Soon enough, Cedric was rolling down his own Hershey Highway. <laughs> For the next few days, Cedric went on a Jenkum bender. <gasps> I'm gonna throw up, dude. I cannot imagine just putting in a jar, just going. <laughs> <coughs> I I made myself fucking gag just imagining it. This is the worst. The high uh, from Jenkum is very uh, similar to that of, say, Rush or glue or, uh, you know, paint. Who is this, dude? Freak show? A Jenkologist? There's Jenkology now? Jesus Christ, wait, wait to make it sound professional. Hold on, you know what? I'm gonna call my parents and tell them that I'm making a career change to be a Jenkologist. See what they say. Hey, mom. Hey, so... Uh, quick question. So, you know how I've always been into science and, and, you know, my current path doing, like, computer stuff isn't yeah. exactly what I'm trying to do. Um, I was looking into new jobs and I've, I've found that you can be a jenkologist. Uh, what, what do you, what would you think if I went into the jenkology field? Why do I feel this is, you're filming this? <laughs> <laughs> just, just say it's a great idea. Just say it. Oh, awesome, man! That would be. That sounds really neat. Cool. This is. Thank you, mom. I got your full support. <laughs> Goodbye. Love <I'm> you. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> we're we're good to go, boys. Jankology. I would much rather be high than to be sober. So if I didn't have a choice, then I'd do it. I mean, I think we would all rather be high than be sober, but the question is, do you want to be high off your own shit, or do you, you know, have any pride? I feel like I should have some left. Unfortunately for Cedric, his ass stash went dry. Come on, give me something. Oh, Victoria Station! What the fuck did he say? Victoria Station? Victor Vic Victoria State Victoria Station. Victoria Station! What the fuck is he saying? Victoria Station? Is that some British thing? That's another British fun fact for y'all. All British people when they're constipated, they yell out random Britain stuff when when they're trying to shit. Oh blimey! Oh, oh the tea and crumpets, the Queen's corgis! Oh goodness, the Bridgerton family! British massacres? Ooh, the Boston Massacre! Ah, uh, yes. 
that was so cinematic for no reason. It's like he just found the holy grail, the zoom in, just fucking, ah, yes, hi, jackpot, shit. <laughs> My British accent's more Australian, sorry about it. And now since I'm playing Elden Ring so much still, I can't help but see this and think of like, like a message written saying praise the dung or something. <laughs> It's in my brain. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm playing Elden Ring so much. The tank full of fudge sludge was sending him into Jankum Nirvana. One more hit, and he would become one with number two. <coughs> Holy shit. This never affects me. I just... I genuinely, I'm not, I'm not faking, I genuinely throw up a little bit in my mouth. I gotta take a break, Jesus Christ. Ah, listen, any other YouTuber, and I would have been like, oh, he's playing it up for the camera, he's not throwing up in his mouth, but I, I promise you, this is terrible, I... <coughs> this is the worst, let's finish it. Junkum and its composition includes methane gas. Shut up, nerd, I wanna finish the episode. Cedric suffered a brownout. Passed out, and then went lights out. That was horrible. I did not think it would have that effect on me. And to be honest, I really wanted to name this episode like banned episodes, but then I found that no episodes of A Thousand Ways to Die were banned. So, A Thousand Ways to Die wiki, banned episodes, way to die number 330, fecal attraction was banned due to Patrick deeming it unsafe for viewing. There we go, that is totally not unethical, and boom, now the title is true. I deem it so. Next episode was suggested by Dark Greninja, Chili Today, Dead Tomorrow. Let's go! Mary and Larry are on a two-week bus tour through the desert southwest. It's a medicine man mask. Uh-oh, classic white people alert. Uh, contrary to popular belief, I actually know a thing or two about white people, so uh, this should be interesting. How much for that? $650. What? How much for that there, Chief? $1,000. I don't know, but I think it's in there. He's trying to stick it to us. This is Peter Griffin. No, that's Peter Griffin from the, from the Family Guy. Whoa, he's real? Holy shit, they made Family Guy real? Larry spots something he can sink his teeth into. Hot peppers, ain't they? Yes, they are, sir. He does know peppers. He won the pepper eating contest at the 4th of July picnic at our church. Holy shit, big man. He won the pepper eating contest at the 4th of July picnic at their church. Holy shit, he probably ate like four habaneros. He's a monster. Mind if I try one of them? Please, sir, don't. Those are very hot peppers. Please don't eat them. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I warn you. I already know where this is going. White people can't handle their spicy food. It's just a fact. I once spent a weekend in the hospital after I accidentally ate a hot tamale candy. Uh, we've been new, uh, so rest in peace, Peter Griffin. I warned you. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm hot. Really hot. <laughs> he even acts like a cartoon character. <laughs> Pepper heat is measured in Scoville units. The ghost registers at a million and a half. Damn, one and a half million Scoville? It's almost as hot as the subscribers of this channel. <laughs> Click it down below. Holy shit. Larry. <laughs> Dude, I love this guy. He's a cartoon character. <laughs> this is how I want to go out. Just going. Larry grabs a drink out of the fridge to douse the flames, which is the worst thing he could have done. But not the deadly rattlesnake venom that Chief Proudfoot collects for the local university. Well, that'll do it. <laughs> Why is this dude so nonchalant in the background? Just arms crossed watching it happen? He knows what's in the fridge. <laughs> Does this happen weekly? Is he just like, damn, another real life Peter Griffin I gotta bury out back. I'm sorry, but this dude literally could have been like, don't drink that. And it would have been avoided. He didn't care. <laughs> Are you not gonna buy anything? You're just gonna eat my peppers without asking? Here's a drink. Larry was a dummy 
who bit off more than he could chew and gave up the ghost, Pepper. I don't really know what else to say about this one. Uh, don't drink random liquids. Uh, Peter Griffin is dead. Peter Griffin is dead. Uh, he looks like a giant tomato here. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'll throw a plug in the middle of the video. Hey, watch my last video about uh, VTubers. It's good. I turned into a VTuber. Not a lot of people have seen it. Uh, I guess it should have 10,000 views since now I'm at 10,000 subscribers. So uh, go watch it now. Fuckers, do it. Thanks. Next, we have an episode suggested by a couple people, Doggy Styled. They say there's no greater relationship, no truer display of loyalty than the one between a man and his dog. I should know. That's me, Sparky. Whoa, we're changing up the format now. The narrator is a dog, and he's making a funny oh kind of voice. <laughs> I do the same thing when I'm narrating as my cat, only it's a uh, New York accent. Hey, Tony, fetch some gabagool, huh? What's a cat gotta do to get some fish around here, huh? See, when I torture my cat for recording, we get snack cam. Snack cam. Yeah. It ain't no gabagool, but it's good stuff. If you could see inside my brain, here's what it'd look like. I love eating, sleeping, sniffing crotches, and digging holes. Hold on a second, is that, is that my brain? Eating, yup. Sleeping, pfft, yup. Sniffing crotches? I used to love to lick my testicles. Whoever invented neutering should have theirs cut off. Ooh, damn. Rest in peace, soldier. And just for that, I'll lick enough testicles for the both of us. We human beings have bred canines from the original wolf into specific tasks that we want out of a canine. Damn, what is this drip David got? Look, at he's got dog remedy written on the turtleneck. He's probably got, probably got pussy slayer written on the back as well. We gotta flush him out! Yeah. Flush him out, why don't you? <laughs> Sometimes I feel so stupid. I mean, it's just a stick. Dog, what are you doing? You just went on a whole spiel about how your owners are dumbasses, and you're out here going, dynamite? That looks like a stick to me. You're no better. You're no better, Duke. Is that his name? His name's Sparky. Why am I just making up names now? I'm a liar and a crook. I actually like this. Here you go, fellas. Oh, oh, a squirrel. There go my genetics again. No Sparky! I like that Sparky runs away before the explosion because the showrunners know that if they kill a dog, everyone will boycott. Um, but now it just looks premeditated. It looks like he planned this. What are you hiding, Duke? Spar Sparky? What are you hiding, Sparky? Fucker. The basic chemical makeup of a stick of dynamite is simply uh, nitroglycerin and a compound to stabilize it, which is either diatomaceous earth or sawdust. A stick of dynamite has the force of what they call two joules. Uh, a single joule is the equivalent of... Oh my god! Nerd, 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 shut up! Oh my god, I will swirl your ass! Sorry, I actually, I actually do find it very interesting, the science behind this show, uh, but it's not the best to react to. So for now, uh, nerd, shut up! Uh, go back to the dog! These guys are always losing things. Here you go. I fetched your arm. Damn, dog is savage. He said, hey boys, can I give you a hand? <laughs> hey, hey, hey boys, can I, can I give you a hand here? You, you, need a, you need a hand here? I got one. <laughs> I'm so funny. Why don't, I, why don't I have 10 million subscribers? Get on it, guys. Come on. Okay, gentlemen. Time to go. Dinner time. I'm hungry. Hello. <laughs> I love that they play it out like the dog doesn't realize, and he's just yelling at them. Hello. Get the get up. What are you doing, idiots? Why is your head over there in the tree? Duke's a bit of a dumbass. Sparky. That was way to die 428 doggy styled because. Again, as we said in the episodes past when I looked like a baby, uh, everything's gotta be sexualized. Of course it does. Those were some good episodes. Thanks guys for the suggestions. Uh, I didn't really like the one about the white people can't handle their spicy food, cause I mean, come on now. Uh, I actually have some hot tamales with me right here and I don't think they're that hot.
But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for 10,000 subscribers. Uh, and watch this episode if you haven't seen it already. Not a lot of people have. So, uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. And have a good one. Bye.